In this video, we explore the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. The park has amazing views and there are bisons everywhere. We are family everywhere. We traded our brick house for our house on wheels and our hectic life for one with lots of freedom and adventure. We will take you to the most beautiful places in the world. Are you new on our channel? Make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any of our videos. So, where were we again? We drove along Lake Superior to get to the west of the USA. After crossing the border of the USA, we drove some more kilometers along this massive lake. Our border crossing also means grocery shopping. We did this at the Aldi, a very familiar supermarket from Europe. We like the products, but also the price. After stocking up, lots of kilometers awaits us, all through a boring and barely changing landscape. Tired of driving, we parked at a rest area, where we got an unpleasant surprise. Oh, jongens, we have an ongewenste gast. Uh, a muis of iets dergelijks. Uh, we zagen net namelijk uh, allemaal uh, gaten in, uh, in verpakkingen van eten die we daar, uh, daar onder de zithoek uh, hebben liggen. Dus uh, we gaan nu even alles uitruimen om te kijken uh, ja, of we wat kunnen vinden. Oh jongens, wat een ellende. Uh, we zien dus overal muizenkeutels, uh, onder de watertank eigenlijk vooral. En uh, daar zijn ze ook naar binnen gekomen, want aan de buitenkant zien we dus uh, twee gaten uh, die niet afgekit zijn uh, bij buizen van de, uh, van de watertank. After some thorough research, we came to the conclusion that they must have entered through this hole. After knowing that, the cleaning could start. Luckily we saw it on time because they were already nesting. We had hoped that the mouse or mice were gone already, but unfortunately not, so the next morning our first chore was buying a mouse trap. We drove for hours and hours through this landscape, but made a nice stop at the Knife River Indian villages, where we got some insight about the lives of the Northern Plains Indians on the Upper Missouri. We also heard about the Junior Ranger program, so interesting and educational for the kids. And after making their assignment, they got a Junior Ranger badge. After driving more than 1000 kilometers, where we didn't see more than some grasslands and agriculture, we were still not where we wanted to be. But then finally, the landscape changed and the Theodore Roosevelt National Park was near. We got pretty close to the entrance at the end of the day and found a very nice spot to spend the night. But first, we have to drive a bumpy trail to get there. Nou, daar staan we dan. Super mooi plekje. We wilden eigenlijk een dagje blijven, maar uh, het wordt 35 graden vandaag en uh, we hebben hier echt totaal geen schaduw. Uh, het is er ook niet heel erg lekker spelen voor de kinderen, omdat er allemaal van zo'n uh, ja, zo prikkelgras staat, waar je gewoon splinters van in je voeten, van in je voeten krijgt. Dus dat is niet echt een heel, uh, een heel lekker plan. En uh, nou ja, de muis die hebben we ook nog niet, uh, nog niet gevangen helaas. We hadden vallen gekocht en de pindakaas hebben ze er lekker van afgegeten. Maar uh, de muis uh, hebben we nog niet. Uh, dus we gaan nu naar een camping uh, op het Nationale Park hier vlakbij. En uh, daar kunnen we, uh, nou daar hebben ze zoals op de foto ziet, lekker grasveldjes en bomen. Dus dan kunnen we daar even de hitte uit gaan, uh, uit gaan zitten. Our 
Our first stop was at the visitor center, where we could see and touch many interesting things. After that, it was time to go into the park. Just before the campsite, we stopped at these cannonball concretions. These unusual stone formations are a fascinating geological process of the Badlands. The rest of the day we sat down and played with the water to cool off a bit. From the campground we had a nice view over the Little Missouri River. The next day we got up early to explore the park. First we made a short hike with nice views over these spy looking mountains. Yes, that is what our girls call them. Then we started driving and spotted our first bison. These animals are really impressive, even if they are just lying in the sun. From different viewpoints just next to the road, we saw amazing white landscapes. At the end of the day, we drove to the southern part of the National Park, which was a 127 km drive. We spent the night at the campground of the park, and the next morning we left early again to avoid the heat. Louis heet vandaag, 37 graden. Uh, dus we zijn al vroeg opgestaan om de hitte een beetje voor te gaan, om toch dit, uh, dit mooie National Park uh, te gaan ontdekken. And this is the thing we like about traveling with children. We would absolutely have missed this beautiful caterpillar. We already saw lots of beautiful places in the world, but seeing them through the eyes of our children is a completely different experience. We also visit a prairie dog town with lots of these cute little animals. And those bisons, they are really everywhere. All the national parks have beautiful picnic places and perfectly timed while it was lunchtime. At the end of the day, we made a stop at the visitor center where the girls got their badges and we learned more about the history of the park. Because it does have quite a history. The name of the park says it all, Theodore Roosevelt. This man came here to grieve about his wife and mother who died only hours apart. Theodore Roosevelt did a lot for conservation and there are six national park sites dedicated, in part or whole, to this conservationist president. Then it was time to find an overnight spot. And since we are now outside the borders of the National Park, the drone can film it.
and look who we have there. It's Bob and Anne, our new travel friends from Australia, which we met two days ago. And while the men work on the truck, the ladies found a new bed to sleep yes. in. <laughs> and where is bed liggen jullie nu? The next morning we waved them goodbye, not knowing we would meet them the next day and the days after that too. How are you? This is cold today. It's so hot and it's so warm. Cold. Cold. A bit later we hit the road too. We drove the 400 kilometers to Devil's Tower in Wyoming. We already thought we had left civilization, but driving this part through this impressive white landscape and not seeing more than two or three little villages is something we rarely experienced before. This is so different than in Europe. Then in the far distance we saw the Devil's Tower popping up. We found a place to park with a view over this strange looking mountain. Of course we also visit Devil's Tower, but to see that you have to watch our next video. Thank you for watching this video. For more travel stories and inspiration, subscribe to our channel. See you soon!